<laughs> this is Inda, a 22 year old that's my new roommate for the next seven days. Because Inda is a local subscriber that I'm going to be taking through a brand new Shopify dropshipping store to show you guys out there that there's no such thing as luck when it comes to success. It's all about the knowledge and taking action. So for the next seven days, I'm going to be taking Inda on a viral organic TikTok journey. Now, the reason why I've chosen organic TikTok is because I want to make sure he makes the most money in the shortest amount of time as possible. So for the next seven days, he's going to go out there and find products that he could potentially put on viral organic TikToks. Now, I will be helping him with product research and every single task involved in this challenge. After he's found the product, then he needs to create a Shopify store then he needs to go and create the content and then upload the content and for each one of these parts of the process he's going to be getting my expertise and all of my resources and information and the key part to this challenge is to show you as the viewer that if you have an expert holding your hand it's going to drastically increase the chances of success and it will show you that luck is a partial play in success but the main part of success is having the right knowledge and taking action So Inder, the reason why I've chosen you for this challenge is because you have been a subscriber now for three years. I also see you in the Discord. We have a free Discord community, by the way. And Inder's always helping people out. And he's also hustling. And I love people that hustle. So I thought I'd give this guy an opportunity. And because he's in the local area to where I live, there's no one better than to have Inder for the challenge. Hustle. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, let Nick, let, 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 it's better if you're in the shop, mate. I am going to hide. You are going, no, you're not me. Yeah, because I don't need to be in the shop. I'm going to just, uh, what's it called, distract. Ready? I'll be like, and a three, two, one. So, Inda, for the people that are going to be watching this at home, introduce who you are and your journey so far with dropshipping. So, I'm 22 years old, and uh, I started my dropshipping journey about three years ago when I first started uh, watching Camille's YouTube channel. And uh, from there, I decided that I wanted to actually take dropshipping to another level and actually wanted to make my full-time income. However, I've never actually been successful. So, I've always been active on uh, Camille's YouTube channel. I um, always try to ask him questions because I already know how hard it is to get hold of him sometimes because of his busy schedule. So, I've actually started... Um, uh, messaging on Instagram and uh, YouTube and then Camille actually decided to help me out through my journey. So yeah guys because I've seen Inda hustle so much in the comment section he always works so hard for his dropshipping store and he hasn't seen any real success yet I thought you know what let me help him out and also record it as a YouTube challenge. Now because this is a challenge video Inda there are going to be some stakes with my expertise and my knowledge of generating over 10 million dollars with e-commerce and dropshipping this should be a challenge where you're able to see success fairly quickly if I can't help you make a thousand dollars in profit in the next seven to 14 days, then I give you 500 pounds of my own money and a one year mentorship for completely free. Thank you for this opportunity. I really appreciate it for the help. I know that in these 70 14 days, we will definitely be able to make a thousand, maybe more dollars. Yeah, no, you've got to be like, oh my god, this is life changing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that, that's more like... Like crying and stuff. <laughs> well, I'm hoping we can do as well as possible. Now, if you're watching this from home or wherever you're watching this, if you want me to make this a full-time thing on the channel where we do this, let's say once a month or once every quarter, then let me know in the comment section below. And if there is enough demand for this, then I'll be getting other subscribers on the channel to do challenges like this. And if it is something that we're going to be doing long-term, you will see a form in the description or in the pinned comment applying to you can be on the challenge on the next episode. Now, for those that are watching this and have noticed some random hands in the back of the car, introduce yourself, Nick. Bonjour. <laughs> So Nick is gonna be the cameraman for the challenge, guys. So massive appreciation to Nick for doing this for us. So if you randomly see Hans or Nick somewhere, that's why he's here. Thank you for this help. I actually needed this help. I've actually been trying for so long dropshipping. It's not been working out for me and I actually know it works and I'm actually in need of somebody that can actually guide me. Well, that's the key, brother. The conviction and the belief is the hardest part. As long as you've cracked that, it's not about luck. It's just about skill, determination and action. So let's crack this, bro. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. So Indu, welcome to the crib, man. I call this the Batcave for myself. I love Batman, so this is my cave. I'm Batman. 
What do you think of the caveman? Oh, this is unbelievable. This is sick. I love the lightning and everything. Well, of course, we need to do product research first. But before we even get to the product research, because you're now in basically my office, my cave, you get access to everything that I have here. So all the softwares like Peekster, all of my Shopify stores. So I'm actually going to show you all of my Shopify stores. No one else gets to see. So you've literally got everything at your dispense when it comes to product research, looking at competitors, looking at my stores as references. Everything you can imagine is in this room. I feel excited about getting everything, all the accesses that I would have normally have to pay for it. I'm not only getting learning, but I'm going to have your knowledge at my disposal to use. So I'm going to be able to skip all of my beginning, beginner mistakes. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, brother, is product research. Now, of course, I'm going to be giving you Peekster for completely free. And Peekster is great because it's a data-based research tool, meaning that it'll show you things based on data, like other stores, how much they're making, literally what they're selling, when they sold it. So this is all data-driven, and it's gonna help us find a TikTok product on organic that's actually making money right now. So the first thing that I like to do when it comes to finding a viral product for TikTok organic is I like to come to the TikTok ad set. So Indu, I've now shown you Peekster. This is a game changer because of how much data it shows you. I'm gonna leave you here in the cave on your own for the next one hour to do some research. Once you've got that research for me, I'm gonna then review the list that you've created. That's fine, I'll get on it. So as you guys can see on the TV screen, Inder's going to be presenting to me a list of different products that he's found in the last hour. So give me a quick breakdown of product number one on the list. Well, I chose number product number one on the list. That's because one is summertime, people going out outdoors, they need a fan. This one does is not only a fan, but it actually shoots water onto your face it, as the fan acts like a mist fan. Another reason why, again, is Pixar of sales. They currently made 7,000 in sales. Now, I would have to say a no and an absolute no because one, it's too expensive to sell and on organic on TikTok, you want to stay between $19.99 and $29.99. So this is $10, a bit too expensive. And I'd also say it's too common right now because it's a summer season product. I think too many people are going to be doing it. So I would probably have to say no just because of those reasons. So talk to me about product number 13 because something that's catch my attention straight away is it's doing $35,000 last month. So that's really impressive. Well, this is a product that's actually a portable washing machine. As we can tell, it's made $35,000 in sales. It's a problem solving product towards the people that are currently in living accommodations at universities and students that are living abroad. We've got a big audience where I could actually sell it to. Mm. Now, the reason why I need to say an absolute no again is because the selling price is just way too high. $70 is going to be very tough on organic on tiktok ads it could be a good potential but in terms of organic i would say no and then again it feels like it's a bit too late to the party some other people are making very good money with it i feel like the sweet spot is if they're making like five to ten thousand dollars but this is just a little bit too much for me so product 11 talks me about it i'll track the product on peakstar and as you can see it's made over like twenty two thousand dollars in just one month the profit margin over twenty dollars so if i do decide to run on ads i'll be able to be profitable either way the biggest reason is because it's portable and is a problem solving product for many as you told me before now i must say in the this is by far probably my favorite product on the list that you chose simply because it's an artistic product it's something that i've actually never seen myself before and as a drop shipper that hasn't seen a product like this that's already a game changer for me and two i think it's got some great video purpose content you could do loads of different videos with this so in the i think the two products that you should go for is the paintbrush product and number three what do you think i totally agree all right let's get straight into this laptop then and start ordering these off amazon and get them tomorrow on amazon prime 
So Indo, we've got your products on Amazon here. I found the first one here, the paint one. We're gonna order this. We've also got your second product here on Amazon and they've all got Amazon Prime, which is great. So we're gonna get these products to the house tomorrow to shoot content. So I'm gonna be paying for all your products. Even if they're gonna cost $200, I will pay for them because I want you to have the highest chance of success and I don't want you to have any risk associated with it financially. So I will be covering the financials when it comes to ordering paying for anything else that's needed. So because we're gonna be having to wait for your products to get delivered to the house, it's gonna take a full day. So whilst we're gonna be waiting for these products, we're gonna take advantage of the time we've got now and we're gonna build two stores. We're gonna be doing a one product store setup, meaning that each product's gonna have a different store. And because we're doing it this way, because I find one product stores have the highest conversion rate and people when they come to the store feel like it's a real brand. And what I'm going to be doing, because you're now with me, I'm going to be giving you the exclusive theme that we give to students inside of the mentoring program for completely free. And it's a complete setup that we've built and it's worth around about $400. I can't believe that you're gonna give me a whole website for free. I literally, that's gonna help me out so much because my website skill building skills are actually not so good. I actually been hiring people from Fiverr previously for my previous websites when I've been trying drop shipping and they didn't do such a good job. So I actually will be using this website and hopefully it will help me to get better conversion rates. Well, even in the future, regardless of the challenge, you're gonna have that template now for you to even use in your future stores and the Shopify store, we're gonna handle the payment. But because it's through my exclusive Shopify link, you're not gonna have to pay anything or I'm not gonna have to pay anything because using my link for each month, we're only paying $1 for Shopify. So over the next three months, I'm only paying $3 to get you a Shopify store set up for two different stores. So in total, we're gonna to be spending $6 in three months over two different stores just to keep the Shopify running, which I think is crazy. So if you guys want to get that deal, make sure you use the link in the description. And if you feel like you've missed out on the theme, don't worry, I've got you guys covered. I've actually built a free theme with Ecom graduates that are professionals at web development. So you guys can get access to a free theme that is designed to help you build stores from scratch with high conversion rates. So that will also be linked in the description. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna build one of your stores for you using that theme. And then I actually want you to go home and build your own store because you've picked two products, remember. So I'll build one, you build the other. And when we see each other tomorrow, we're gonna compare the stores. And then that way I can actually teach you on what you may have done better to get your store looking better. Because I don't wanna do everything for you because then you don't learn anything. So I'm gonna get you to learn from me whilst you're doing it yourself. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. Now to give the audience a bit of an overview of what we're gonna be doing tomorrow, once we built the websites, we'll show you what they look like and give you some feedback. Then we're also gonna be showing you guys creating content for each one of these products, the paint and then the USB phone device. So you guys can see how we create organic TikTok videos. So you'll be seeing me and Inde get into action at creating UGC. Now this is gonna be by far the most time consuming part of the challenge because it's organic. We're gonna to have to create loads and loads of videos. So you will be seeing us doing that tomorrow and you're gonna learn so much from it. So guys, that's gonna wrap up day one one of the challenge. Let us know what you think so far in the comment section below. Feel free to engage guys. We love engagement and let us know if you want us to do this with another subscriber as well in the comment section below. But we're wrapping that up. Appreciate that Indo brother. Welcome back to day two of the challenge. I have passed Indo over the night of day one. I'm building a Shopify dropshipping store. Now I want to help him achieve as much success as possible. So I gave him three different resources to help him out with this stage. So the first resource that I gave to Indo was the school video library. Before he goes to bed, he can watch how to build a website. He's gonna also learn how to create TikTok content. So for today, day two, he's gonna have an advantage of creating content because he's learned from the video library. So for those that are wondering what the video library is, it's exclusive to our mentoring program inside of e-commerce mentoring. Like I said in the intro of this challenge yesterday, I'm going to be giving Indo everything that I've got. And obviously one of those things is the mentorship. So the second resource I gave Indo is the exclusive exclusive Discord channel. And inside the Discord channel, there's gonna be other mentors in there. So in between him watching the video library, if he's got any questions, he can ask all the other mentors inside of that exclusive Discord server. Now, the third resource that I gave to Indo was the exclusive Pagefly template. Now, this template has been designed to help him increase conversion rates on his Shopify stores. So hopefully, he should have a higher conversion rate than most other people because he's got a website template that's been designed and built for conversion rates. So I'm gonna go home and meet up with Inder so I can show you guys the websites that he created and crack on with creating the TikTok organic content.
So guys, you've just seen Inder do some TikTok organics for this paint product. Now, what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to get Inder to explain why he made those organics in that format and where he got the inspiration from. So why not tell the viewer how you did it? So what I've done is the first thing first, I've used the knowledge that I've got from yesterday and today and I combined it all together. Why I took the video shots the way I took them is so in my 10 video clip, I can use small clips and cuts. So like that, I can in those 10 seconds of my TikTok clip, there's different angles and the viewer stays engaged and this will help my video to actually go viral. And another thing that I actually done yesterday whilst I was home was I used my competitors TikTok pages. I used that as a reference to make my TikToks today. So there's more chance of me going viral. So what we're gonna be doing now guys is we're gonna be creating the TikTok accounts because we've created quite a lot of content just now. We're gonna set them up. I'm even gonna show you guys a little bit of an insight on what we're gonna be doing in the next few moments. And then Inda's gonna go back home and create more content for this product and the other product. And then we're gonna upload that content over the next few days to these TikTok accounts. So guys, as you can see, we've got Inder back with us. Now, before we go over his website, I'm just gonna ask you quickly, how are you currently finding the challenge? The challenge is currently going amazing. I've learned a lot of knowledge from the Discord server, mentors there that helped me. I didn't know what time to post on TikToks or anything, no information. When I opened the Discord server, I actually found information that you don't actually find on YouTube unlike these other people. Another thing that I found very interesting was the video library. There was a lot of information that is, you can't actually find anywhere. The video library was very amazing i found a lot of information that has helped me with my landing page another thing that i found really good on the video library was understanding how to create tiktok content as i feel very confident today when it comes to making my organic videos because of the information provided so this is the first website that you created for the paintbrush now this theme that you've used is the actual free theme i've given to everyone on youtube so this will look slightly different guys if you're watching this compared to the second website so let's see the differences so you've gone for a nice color scheme you've gone for the green the white and the black three-tone color scheme I like the way you've made the color scheme the same as the product. The imagery that you've used is okay. I'd probably say you should make these imagery here, these two icons here, the second photo and the third photo. This image here is a little bit plain and boring. Don't find they do very well. I can also see you haven't got a comparison price. Like for example, it used to be $39.99. So that would help increase the perceived value. Your logo is a little bit small. It could do with being increased. And then I'd say here with the shipping returns is nicely done. The details are nicely done. You've got the trust icons here. Then you've got some imagery that I like here with the color scheme with it being blue the actual copyright in itself is pretty good i must say it's not too bad then you've got your customer reviews here frequently asked questions look really nice and then you've got the customer also bought i think you should get rid of where it says customer also bought because it's not needed at the moment and then that'll clean up the page and i think you could do with adding a video on the page and i think you're pretty good when it comes to this product page so guys this is the second website and this is for the smart device that helps you connect your smartphone to tvs and other electronics now this is already looking a lot nicer because your logo is a lot nicer it's bigger and the imagery that you've used is a lot better because it's like information imagery so it shows the product but then it also explains a little bit about it i like the way you've given it the trademark the smartphone tv remote the copyright is nice you've got the comparison price on here you've got a customer testimonial just underneath and then you've got your little icons here that are looking really nice and then here we've got some more trust icons as seen in imagery is really nice copywriting is also nice this image here is a little bit low quality you could have probably used a better quality image for this section then you've also got a section here going over what customers like the only thing i don't like about this is it looks like the imagery used for these reviews are really bad quality i don't know if that's because there's not many reviews online that could be a very valid case realistically the imagery should have been better for the reviews and i believe here you're going over more features of the products which is looking really nice right now high quality materials two different modes wide range of use again the only thing is the imagery is a little bit low quality you could have spent a little bit more time making this imagery look a little bit nicer in canva and then you got the portable design at the end and then underneath this this is probably one of my favorite parts of your website you're comparing your website to others and you're going over why they should shop with you instead of anyone else and this is looking really really nice and then you got your frequently asked questions and this one looks really well done with the icons and you've actually added the name of the product the smartphone remote that way you're giving it a really nice branded view and then our amazing customer reviews i think you need to get rid of that section you need to add your footer and then apart from that, I think this product page is way better than the first one. Guys, let me know in the comment section below which one you prefer, website one or website two and the reasons why. So guys, now we've gone over the two website Inders created. We're going to make some minor adjustments to these based on my feedback later on tonight, but we're going to move straight into creating TikTok organic content so we can start posting content to the TikTok page today. So let's get straight into it. 
So guys, welcome back to the challenge. It's day three and we got 20,000 views on our organic TikTok video. I am so happy that we've been able to achieve this. Explain to the guys in there what this means. First thing first, I, I can't believe that we got 20,000 views on the first day. It's actually crazy. The way I've done these three videos was actually I've used the resource from the Discord server. There was so much information there like from how to create a video, just like raw footage, what angles to use, how different angles of lightning make a difference. So I just used the resource from the Discord server and I've just like implemented it into the product that we chose. I posted three different EST times because we are trying to go viral in the American time zone. Now for those that don't understand what 20,000 views means, normally on the first day of doing organic TikTok, you're probably not even going to see three views. You're going to see about one, two on the other video, probably another one on the next video because straight away you're not going to get any momentum. But the fact that we've got 20,000 views within our first 24 hours is pretty much unheard. It's basically a 1% chance, which is insane. So because because of all this positivity and momentum, I am going to put a screen preview up here, guys, so you can see the account and the views and you can check it out yourself. What we're going to do is we're going to be blasting more content onto this page. And what made us get 20,000 views, we're going to make variations of that organic and try and blast it as much as possible and try and get our first 100,000 views. Now, the viewers are probably thinking, in the, how are you finding TikTok organic? Do you think it's hard? Do you think it's easy? I would personally say it's not hard and it's not easy either, just because certain things like as easy as they can be and certain things are as easy but yet as complicated for example the editing you can make as much raw footage which is the easiest thing that you can do but then when it comes to editing you sort of need to know what to do and how you're editing for example the text colors the different words and a lot of little little things now the viewers are going to want to know how did we go viral so quick what was in that video that made it go viral was it the sound was it the music was it the, you know the transitions what was it the first suggestion was that to look my competitors and understand them what they're doing that i could do even better and things like that so i literally all i've done is went on my competitors page analyzed their viral videos and i'll just replicate that and i've just done it better and yeah and we just went viral straight away on the first day so guys it's as simple as that you don't need to over complicate it you don't need to think outside the box too much you just need to look at your competitors do the same thing add something dramatic to your video to make it better than theirs or change just a few little things like the scenery and you can also replicate their results so we're going to catch up with you guys tomorrow and hopefully we should have some sales we should have about two to three sales tomorrow based on the amount of views that we've got a massive congratulations bro Hello, Inda. Please tell me you're joking. Why are the views dropped so bad? I haven't got a clue. I've been literally doing the same things I was doing in the first videos. Oh, you think the count's been like shadow banned or something? Well, the challenge is almost over, man. We've got like three, four, five days at maximum. So the only option we've got is to run TikTok ads for the product. Well, I know you've got no experience, so that means the rest of the day, we're going to have to spend hours and hours getting these ads up and then me teaching you how to run them. Can you come to mind whenever you've got time? All right, bro, I'll see you in a minute. So Inda's just called really bad news. The TikTok page is completely flopped from 20,000 views now to 500 views. So something's gone wrong with the algorithm. It's forced us into a back of a wall where we've only got the opportunity now to run ads to actually see any success with this challenge because we've literally got maximum five days left. So just to give you guys a quick insight, Inda's on his way back to my house so we can set up some ads for the product, get the Shopify set up correctly so it's designed to run ads. So we should have the first bunch of ads running tonight. A few moments later. I don't know what to say, man, but I was hoping this never happened. Well, it was, it could have happened, but I was hoping it didn't happen, but it did happen. So we've got no other opportunity but to run these ads. How do you feel about it, man? It's kind of like I'm very stressed at the moment because I thought the first day went so good, so great with 20,000 views on the first day. I thought, that's it, I'm finally need there where I actually want to be. And I'm like, suddenly on the day two, the videos just drop down and I'm just like, okay, what's next? I just feel lost, confused and stressed. So I did make a promise to you at the start of the challenge, which was I'm gonna try my hardest for you to see success. So the only option we've got is to run ads right now, which is today. I'm gonna to give the budget of around about 500 to $800. So that's more than enough money to really see if these products have got any potential. And I'm just hoping 
that with these products doing well organically on the first day, because 20,000 views for a product on the first day is amazing. That's given me some hope. These could potentially do well on ads. So we're just gonna have to find out later today when we launch them. Now, I know you're completely new to running ads, but I wouldn't worry too much. I know you're gonna feel a little bit overwhelmed with it. I'm gonna help you out for the rest of the day, even if it takes me till 12 o'clock at night, one o'clock in the morning, I will make sure these get done. I will teach you what you need to know so we can get these ads off to a good start today. So guys, welcome back to the challenge. It has been a while since me and Inda last updated you and there's a lot of reasons why. So the first reason is because the product that we initially tested, which was the paintbrush rinser and that product flopped on TikTok ads. I think we spent around about 300 to $400. We only got one sale and it flopped. So we killed the product and moved on. I am gonna be showing you guys a TikTok ads manager screen preview so you can check out the metrics for yourselves and let me know what you think. Now, before I move on to what we've been doing since we killed the product, Indo, why do you think the product flopped, man? So the reason why I think the product flopped is because I don't think it was a product that solves any uh, problems for a human, but it's actually just a product that adds up to someone's personal life, helps their lifestyle more than anything, but it's not really a problem solving product. So I think that's the biggest reason why it didn't work. Now, the reason why I think the product flopped was because I feel like there wasn't a big enough audience that had mass interest in the product. So when you ran it on ads, no one was really interested in it. And like Inda said, it's more of a product where it's going to help you, but you don't necessarily need it to carry on creating artwork. It's more of a premium product to have if you have the money to get it or you're interested in it. There's no real wide reason why you need this product. And that's why I think it flopped. But the good news is I've given Indo one of my winning products from 2019. And this was one of my biggest winning products when I started drop shipping. And it is the fishing rod product. Now I've actually made a YouTube video on this product about four years ago. So I'll show you guys a preview on the screen. Now, because it's currently the summertime and it's August, I thought there's no better time to run this product than now because it is currently the fishing season. So I know it's a winning product and I thought about running a product on Facebook ads instead of TikTok ads. And the good thing about running a product on Facebook ads is I get to teach Inda all about Facebook ads. Because the truth is Facebook ads is very different to TikTok because certain products perform better on Facebook than they do on TikTok and vice versa. Now by me giving Inda one of my winning products from 2019, I'm literally gonna give him the winning creatives. I'm gonna give him the winning copies. I even know the interest that worked the best from 2019. Hopefully this is gonna make a big difference. So Inda, this product is more of a Facebook ads product, not a TikTok product, but I'd love to know what you feel about the product. I think the product is actually a good product because it's actually a fishing product. So it's more like a seasonal product. And right now is in the season, like you said earlier, for the fishing season. Also, I think that this is something that is probably right now in demand. This is a good hobby for mature, retired people, people that really got money to spend on this. So I think personally, this is a good product and I think that will sell well. So just to keep you guys updated on this product, we actually created the website around about three days ago. We launched the ads around about two days ago. Now I've actually created a Facebook ads testing strategy video and a complete free course on Facebook ads. And I've used that exact strategy for this product. So I'll leave a link to that video in the description. So we've actually received two orders since launching the ads. The first order, the first customer ordered two different rods because they've obviously more mature audience. They've got more money to spend. So they actually bought two of the rods, which equivalent to around about $88 and our profit margin from that $88 is around about $40 to $50 because we're buying the rods for around about $8 to $9 and we're selling them between $30 and $50. So we had one order on the first day of running the ads and then the day after we had another order. So the ads are looking promising right now. Now, like I was saying to you guys before, Inda is brand new to running Facebook ads. He's never done it before. So I'd love to ask you how you feel about Facebook ads. I feel a bit overwhelmed creating even the ads, creating even things like that. It's totally different compared to TikTok. I still feel a bit more confident because I still got skills that I've learned in these past few days. I feel good about it. I feel positive about it. Now, after we set up the first Facebook ad campaign, would you say that it got a lot easier after doing it the first time? Yeah, I do think it's got a bit much easier. 
So guys, I'm hoping that this is the winning product for the challenge and we're able to make hundreds and thousands of dollars with it like I did back in 2019. It's a bit early to say for now. We are break even at the moment or slightly in profit, but I will update you guys. We've got around about six days left on this challenge. It's currently Monday and I believe it's the 14th of August and we're going to finish this challenge at the end of the week and I'm hoping we're able to get profitable with this. And if we do really, really well with this product, we will be making a part two to this challenge to update you if we're able to convert this into a long-term brand. So I will be updating you guys more frequently before the end of the challenge, but things will be slightly different for when you're watching this because I've got a to travel tomorrow. So when you see the updates for the next few times, they might be slightly different. I might be on a phone call with India instead of real life because I will be traveling. But the day that we conclude the challenge, which is in around about five to six days, I will be meeting back up with India and explaining the thoughts of the challenge. So with all that being said, guys, I'll catch you in a few days. So guys, it's the end of the subscriber challenge with Inder. We've been running this challenge now for around about 10 to 12 days, and I'm gonna conclude everything we've achieved over the challenge in the last 12 days. Now, this challenge has completely changed throughout. In the intro, I did say it was gonna be an organic only challenge, but then we actually ran Facebook ads. So it's a little bit all over the place, but I actually think that's very special because I've been able to teach Inder new skills that he can go home with and crush it. Now, before I even get into the results of the challenge i'm just going to start off by saying india how do you feel the challenge went i think the challenge went great because even though we didn't get big results i think that i managed to learn quite a lot from your knowledge and the other mentors knowledge in the disco server i learned your work ethic and i've seen you working on your stores and i see how much work you actually need to put in to be successful so i've seen things that other people don't see so overall i think the challenge was great i wasn't confident at all when i started this challenge i actually felt very confused lost overwhelmed with the work whereas now I still feel overwhelmed but I feel much more confident in my skills and I feel like once I go home today I'll be able to actually find a product by myself, making content for it myself and actually be able to launch it by myself. Yeah, I overall think the challenge was perfect. I loved it. Since the last 12 days, I must say you've changed a lot, Inder, and I feel like you've come a long way in your journey. You've learned a lot of skills. You've been able to apply them to your dropshipping store with your Facebook ads, your TikTok organic. So although you've not seen any crazy life-changing results right now, I do believe in the next you know three to six months Inda's gonna see some phenomenal you know results because it's even if you were to hire the best personal trainer in the world you're not gonna get a six pack you're not gonna get huge muscles in the first one to two weeks it's impossible unless you get plastic surgery so what I'm trying to say is although Inda's got me with him it's not gonna be straight away he's gonna make a hundred thousand dollars two hundred thousand dollars that's why we're going to be getting Inder back on the YouTube channel in around about three to six months for him to update us on how his journey's going. Now, because I promised to him in the intro that I'd help him see success, my team are going to carry on with him for the next three to six months to increase the chances of seeing success. Now, if Inder sees crazy results in one month or two months, we'll get him on the channel even earlier. But I'm going to make a promise to you guys watching this. We will be getting him back on the channel to show you what knowledge he's learned from me in these 10 to 12 days, how far it can truly go if you apply it day in day out for at least a few months so that brings me back on now to what were the results so we generated around about 190 dollars 180 dollars in total in sales now if you can't remember one of the orders was from the brush tool and then the other orders were from the actual fishing rod now the fishing rod is being ran by facebook ads and the brush was doing organic now the fishing rod is actually showing some really good promising results now the reason why we're not able to go crazy on the fishing rod right now is because inda's business manager and ad account has a spending limit which means means he can only spend $50 a day. So it's very, very hard to scale this product when he's got an ad account spending limit. And that's why it'll be interesting to see how well it goes in the next few months once that ad account restriction is removed. With all that being said though, this fishing rod product is showing promising signs. It is around about a break even point because we've been spending around about $100 to $120 in ad spend. So we're currently at around about a break even point. So that means that we're gonna be carrying the product on and we're gonna slowly start to scale it and get more creatives made. And we're gonna see how it goes. And if I give you guys just a flashback, on the first day of him doing organic, he got 20,000 views. And most people aren't even able to do that till their, you know, third account, which is three weeks in or, you know, three months in. Even with Facebook ads, most people don't see any results for a good few weeks or a good few months, or they don't see any results. Now, I did make a promise to you guys on this YouTube channel. I will be running this series long term on the channel. So if you want to apply to be the next subscriber to be doing this, like Inda's just done it, then you can fill out the form below. It's completely free. Everything that Indo 
deals done I've paid for in this challenge. That way it's completely risk-free for him. So that's amazing and life-changing. So if you do want to be the next subscriber doing this, make sure you fill out the form below and we'll be picking somebody in the next three to four months. Now, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this challenge. Me and India and the team have put so much work and effort into this video. You might be watching this today and might be thinking it's very easy to do, but trust me, you don't realize how many hours, how much effort goes into these videos to make them possible for you guys to watch. So if you appreciate it, make sure you smash that like button. As soon as we've hit 5,000 likes, I will be picking the next subscriber.